Welcome to the Rome campaign for Davidiette Impera 1.2.5. In the last part, we came in and captured Kyrene. We are still on the same end turn as the previous video. So at the moment, we are now pushing out against the Egyptians. We're getting very close to their capital, which is Alexandria. Up in the north, we, spent, we also tidied up an army here belonging to the, I think it's the Unelli. So we've now got these two armies getting in the position to strike north against, uh, what's it, Eboracon. But after finishing the video, I was, I've been looking at this area here. There's a Nervi army here, but it's damaged. Now these are, has, it's only got a garrison of 19. And I'm thinking maybe it's time to extend the empire to what was the historical border roughly, just to show you. And what I'm thinking is we're going to have the historical border here. We're going to have to push out and maybe just uh, take these settlements and then liberate them. I, I do want, and we've got the Abetzes here, but what I would like to do is take this province. So what we will probably end up with is a shape like that. I'm not sure. And then what we will do then is come down into Dacia like that. So that's where we're going to draw the border. Because this northern border of the historical Roman Empire moved backwards and forwards many times during various parts of the Roman Empire following its its fortune and losses. I think at one point the Roman Empire even pushed out into Flevum and up what is, well, now Holland. But I think they eventually dropped back. But I but if I do, if I push out and take Flevum, that means I've got to take Alba and Tofurdum. To I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to be quite happy to draw the border along that line there. So I think we will be taking these guys out. And But what I want to do is I don't want to declare war on them directly. Who are they at war with? They're Bosphorus, the Inferni Confederation. I think we're going to curry a bit of favour with the... Who's this? The Adriae, yeah. They, 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 the Atreai still like us. I mean, for some strange reason, they've got a whole raft of territory up here. And it's going to be a bit of a dilemma because I'd like to keep them on side so that they secure the north. But at the same time, we've got to take provinces away from them. So I'm not exactly sure how we're well, going to do that. Friend, and we're going to have to join the war against the Nervi Confederation. As you wish of them. Okay. I mean, hopefully they will accept. Yes, they've accepted. This is See, we've got a whole team. load of wars All against everyone. Until we roll but we do have at least some allies and defensive allies here. Anyway, I mean, eventually we will need to break these treaties when we affect, attack, uh, uh, well, down into the Greek peninsula. Now, I, I think I'd like to go in with both armies. This army's actually got a... I think, I think what we're going to do is attack this army here first and go for the night attack on this army. Why? Okay. Because so, I want to take this Nervi army down because it's just going to be a pain in the neck. So the first thing we're going to do is take these guys down. We should be able to destroy them very easily. And they've got lots of cav, but we can effectively form a a block, which will, and then we can tear up their cav with the uh, missile troops and that. Okay, start deployment. Yeah, so pull back. And, oops. I'm just gonna. So I'm going to keep the line intentionally shorter than I would normally do. Um, what we're going to have is these guys in an anti-cav roll. Yeah. Um, we'll have the Eagle Cohort in reserve with the General. And what we'll have is the two cav units out over here. Of course, what we will have is the slingers on both sides. Like that. 
Okay, so I think we're gonna just pull these guys back a little bit further. Like that. I think that will work. And of course what we're gonna do is move the the center forward. Well, there's a good chance they could be up here, but considering they got cavalry, I'm expecting them to be a bit, a bit more mobile. So we're just going to speed up a little bit. Um, let's just push these guys out a little bit. Hmm. Because I am a bit reluctant to push too far forward in the center just at the moment simply because I just don't want their calf to suddenly come out of nowhere there they are okay. I'm just gonna let the um, infantry at your command right. Infantry. We're just going to line up a little bit like that. Want you guys to hide in the trees. Missiles ready. Slingers. That's my general. general. You're way too far. Well, we got medium melee cav, medium spear infantry, medium uh, melee cav. Okay. Right, let's get there. Sons of Mars. I think we're just bring these guys in like that. Again, mm, we're just gonna inch these guys forward, keep them highlighted in case the cavalry starts to react and then we can stop halt them straight away they're not reacting just yet Keep the general in sight they're not reacting yet okay. keep moving inching forward Tom, you've got to react sooner or later. This is very heavy. Okay, they're reacting. Warriors, stop! Fire on them! Jupiter gives us strength. In they come. Missile warriors! Slingers! Jupiter gives us strength! Ready! Legionary cavalry! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Units has used all its ammunition. Hey, you pull away like this way. Yeah, that cab got caught, but the men are wavering. You. Bring the cat's cohort over here. And they're confident, but we'll put some missile fire onto them. We'll send out a one of our units has used all its ammunition. Jupiter gives us strength. But they've gone. Cohorts out. Right, we got these guys crushed. I think there's a. Oh, is this the second cavalry unit over here? 
I don't think we're going to need the slingers as such. Yeah, we've lost a cavalry unit, but that's not a problem. You come in and have the crush effect. General, come in close. We might as well use his ability. Oh, we got up here. Right, these are chasing off the cav. Um, stop you guys. Uh, killing. Right, these are the very heavy. So bring the equites in for uh, some charges. Right, these guys are breaking. Suppose we could give them a little bit of a nudge, but there we are. End battle. And that army should be destroyed. Yeah, we lost this cav unit, but it's an auxiliary cav unit, so um, we can always replace it with something else. And uh, yeah, general got away, but that's not a problem. Let's have a quick look at the Merc situation. Nothing. Okay. Mm, what we're going to do now is... You're the new general, so and you're Ready for a pretty old general, or you would be quite old. Ready for further and you've actually got the supply like it uh, Commander. I think we we'll give this this uh army the experience. But the single poor old Novi general. They, that's I suppose I could have taken them all down in one battle actually, come to think of it. I'm not sure where that extra Nervi army's come from. Was he hidden in the settlement? Okay. This is going to be a bit more challenging. So, oops. And then he broke the siege. Right, they've come out to fight us, which is probably not a good thing for them, but never mind. Uh, well, certainly don't want to fight in the rain, nice and dry. Right, we've got a nice open field battle there, there. Our reinforcements are coming in from that side. In fact, they're actually coming in on... Oh, this could be interesting, because they're actually coming in against this with a... This could be expensive. Um, I think we're going to go with the same formation as last time. We can keep the Eagle Regiment in the back. And general here. These guys can be with the General. Because you're going to be absolutely no good for anything. And the Slingers on the flank here. Now, the um, our reinforcements are coming from there. So what I'm going to do is put the main cab on that side um, what I want to do is move these troops forward because I want enemy reinforcements approaching yep uh. Right. Hate I hate it when they come in from the edge of the map like that. It's always a bit tricky. You come in like this. Let's gather the cavalry up. Usually cohorts. Well, 
I need to do is get their attention with these units. General, what we got here? Some light spear infantry. We'll just keep moving in that way while I reorganize this side of the army. <laughs> now we got some more cav. Lots of cav in this army. Let's get these units in there, you up behind. Right, yeah. Um, I'm just going to bring. Right, they're coming at us here, and their reinforcements are coming in from over there. So, what we're going to do is reinforce this flank with this army. I think what we're going to do is come on, stop messing about. Right, we're going to go hammer an anvil here. They're coming at us there, and it looks like they've got some heavy melee cab here. You. Come on the angle there. What we're going to do is go hammer and have a ha hammer and anvil type approach. Hmm. I'm going to push the cab that way. You and that way. What we're going to do is start to bring this flank round and what we're going to do is because they're going to try and flank us okay we've got a bit of a, a zigzag in the line here and um, we're just going to Let's push these troops forward like that. Um, I think we're going to concentrate our missile capability on this flank here. Okay. You. Bring the missile troops up. Um, what we're going to do is keep them distracted by putting the, the threat onto these. Actually, what have we got on this side here? Okay. Just keep spinning them a little bit. Wow. Okay, let's straighten the line. Oh, cohort. Right, we'll just keep to bring these guys in on this side. There's Cav coming that way. Uh, General, pull back. Right. You, I want you to just plug that gap. Skutari, right, but now drive. Pushing them back this way. Um, and 
just going to advance the uh, troops forward. Okay, I want you to keep covering that flank. Slingers, I want you. Still worried about that cab there. Right. Romans, ready for duty. You doing back there? Advance at speed. As your um, Evocati. Evocati. Um, who are you? Um, just gonna advance. Just. What I'd like to do is create a gap, a, a kind of a, a vision of a, a gap here. Okay. These are the very heavy. You, wait, you stay where you are. melee you guys pull back you there what I'm gonna try and get is cab superiority got that I still got that very heavy melee cab hanging around I think what we're going to do is pick up from you to here and we're just gonna keep lining in so that we can get in a this is a, a little bit of a bigger battle than right you pull away you're getting too close to one of our units has used all its ammunition right it looks like we've driven off there move the cohorts forward Right then. Right. They're actually moving this way, which is useful. Right. Keep moving these forward so that we can get into missile range. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, other missile troops, there's their general, not worried about. Uh, where's my other? Wait, what are you doing back there? You get in, get in. Right, move these guys for apps. Nope, 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 pull out. Right. Get these guys in the position. You one of our units has used all its ammunition. A little bit closer. Right, this is their weak flank, because these are the You pull back. Get the cab there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, count. Counter charge. What we want to do now is start to engage these. You move in. Go against their general. Okay, I'm just going to move these in here. Where's my? One of our 
units is used taking too much damage. Great. Heavy horse. Where's that? Battle ready and eager. Quickly right. now. Sons of God. Where's the general? Right, we. Right. Time, time to unleash the cavalry. You come up to there. Wow. Right. Time to tie these guys up. Right. Get these guys to turn their attention onto these. General up here. Where's my uh, general? Is my other general? I've lost a general. No. You're over here. Right. We're turning something. Right. We, we need to get the cav in and support. Right, these guys have driven off these. We need to start sweeping the back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Right, you pull these away. You up over there. Right, just get all these missile troops out the battle. General here. Cavalry. Medium spear infantry. The men are wavering. Reinforce. Okay. You on there. You come up and support this side. Um. Right. Heavy horse in amongst this lot. This way. Our men flee the field of battle. That's okay. Well, we'll be okay. General. Oh, that. Wow. Uh, Cav here. I want you roaming free. I don't want you tied up. The legions over here. General, come. You, Tarantines, push, push them, push them. Uh, skirmish. We need to break these. General, come in here. You, that cab's trapped. We want to get them into here. Okay. General, this way. Right, anyone who is substantially damaged. Ah. <laughs> Legionary cavalry. Right, we've, you, your job is going to be on. Kill patrol, general this way. You after that medium spear infantry. Oh, that was yeah, pretty interesting, to be honest. Um, we're going to end battle because this this is a city siege. We lost 794. One of our units was completely bashed in. Oh, two of our units were completely destroyed. They probably fled the battlefield. I think that was pretty interesting because I think that was probably the first battle where I've actually had to 
form line with two armies and I have to admit it's a bit of a challenge when you do that because it's trying to keep track of everything that's going on the battlefield and I think it's the fact that you can't concentrate so much is the reason why you end up losing these troops here but we've taken down um, the Nervi Confederation with their forces hopefully we would have killed them all and hopefully we would have killed this general as well because he would have been on a, a second attack uh, down they go and of course we're going to occupy and that gives this general some motion at your command ready for orders i think you've ready got some movement battle. range so i think what we're going to do is we're going to pull these units back and maybe a couple of these and we're going to give him some of these troops here we give him that as well the cav well i think we'll give him the no, we won't give him the tarantines we'll give him okay we can't give them any more actually i think what we'll do is we'll cancel one of those and because we pull him back two of these cohort so maybe we need to balance that a little bit better so if I what that, that does is it gives this army virtually back up to strength and then what can happen we can do is merge up a couple of these guys in this army and then this army can come back across the border and recover Actually, you can recruit here. Actually, um, it is a great we'll recruit a couple of these in, bring them back up to twenty. Probably get rid of this guy. I mean, he, he did a stirring job, but I think maybe we got here nine, eleven, hundred and six. I think we'll bring that in. That will recruit this army back up to full strength. Right, we've got name. Now, Vicentio is going to be on the front. It's back here. It's not really on the front line. Trevorum is. So, in some ways, there's part of me that says I would like to move here. What's the, what I'm looking for is the ability to recruit and increase the garrison. 165. Um, Romanized archers. That could be interesting. I think what we're going to do is go for that. Um, get rid of that when we get here. Now I'm pretty sure this is untacked. Oh no, this is, but it's got neutral food. Well, okay. um, glassware is quite useful. I can't remember what you get for glassware, but I know over in where is it here? Yeah, you've got glassware. In Octavium and last trading hub, do we get anything? Well, we don't get anything faction wide from that, we just get lots of cash. And I'm more interested in defensive capability here because this is going to be a frontline settlement. So, probably what we'll do is put food in here. We won't worry about the glass enhancement. This will give me better garrison well what is the garrison capability on here yeah this would give me in better and more enhanced garrison which i'm more interested in because i want these garrisons to be as strong as possible so we will take this up to a tier four because what i want is these settlements to be able to stand and defend themselves so that i don't only need light to keep one army here just to keep out troublemakers and I think that's going to be it for this turn because that was literally the end of the turn from the previous video so we're just going to go oops we've got motion we've got I don't know why I'm doing this I could have gone straight to this guy anyway and what have you got here minus 10% success of host 10% cunning ferocious warrior what else can we get in here 
Plus 2% increased attack missile range. That could be useful. I mean, I've got the money now. I can afford to put the costs up on my army. Um, plus the increased missile range, three shots per second. I think maybe I'll strengthen the cavalry first. So here we go. We're going to go for an end turn. Okay, we've got an increase in rank. Veteran inspired endeavors. Well, we're going to go for punishment. That means we're probably going to upset one of the families. What's the consequence? Your diplomats returned accompanied by master horsemen. What I did do before starting the video is I sent out a whole load of my female politicians to get, to actually get a bit more uh, skill level by visiting other things. Right, hidden agent exposed. Hidden agent exposed. Hidden agent exposed. Another child that's born, another child, son comes of age. Uh, the family continues to grow. Peace negotiated between Colossus and Sparta. New political elections, increase in rank. Right, what we're going to do is first things first is we're going to look at the settlement here. Right, we certainly want that there. And we'll get an aqueduct in and. This is don't want really want a training field. Never had that much use for a training field. So this is Kyrene. What we'll probably do down here is I don't really want to rush this army out at the moment. I mean we could have a smack at the Egyptian it's an Egyptian army there. And there's another Egyptian army here, so what's this army like? A couple of elephants in it. I'd rather wait for this to be finished before we push on. So that is if the Egyptians try to put an army through here. So I think we'll just wait and consolidate there. What's this? That's a um Serene Navy. It's not very big, so we can take that out. Who are you? You're a Colossus, you're a friend, although that doesn't mean anything in this game. Let's turn the attention back to here. And there was a little, uh, there was a little Nervi Navy tucked in here, but it seems to have disappeared. I think at first you want to get our agent out. Okay. Swift and silent as a shadow. I think what we need to do is get rid of this trash. Um, this could be a little bit I mean they got yeah I think we're going to go for it because I think if we get rid of this we get rid of all their agents of course we've got to fight this I mean this is one of the, the tediums of doing the achievement of having to fight and win every single battle it just gets a little bit grindy where normally you could just pop the auto resolve on this and everything would be okay um yeah. I'm not going to fight in the rain. I suppose we could fight in the rain just for the sheer heck of it. Okay. Now we've got these Qatari actually have put forward deployment. We could put them out here. The trouble is if I do that they will run the risk of being, how can you say, attacked. So but maybe we could have a bit of fun with these. What we can do is just bring the cab over and some slingers so these guys can be supported. Um, grab there. Okay. Um, I think you guys can just up behind I'm probably not going to need you very light it's going to leave the baggage train well in the rear it's the only downside of this baggage train train they are technically a cavalry unit but to be honest for all intents and purposes they are completely useless in a battle 
I mean, they're purely there to provide support when the armies are on moving on the campaign map. Well, just move you right forward. There. Move these up. So the forward deployment didn't do us any favours because we don't know where the opposition is. General! And we'll just let the general run forward. Of course, we're going to play this at. Yeah, there they are. We await your command. Um, Romans ready for duty. Just keep there. Melee infantry at your command. This. Avocati. Guys, move me up. There they are. Shield men. Load us. And. What are your orders? Commander. Bring the equities over. Come and die. Uh, General. I mean, we could we put the send the Tarantines forward, keep the general in the rear. Um, just move these guys up. I don't think we're actually going to need you, so. Right, Tarantines, you just keep the. You should be faster for some some reason. Barbarian cavalry always seems to have the ability to catch up with. Hey, you're meant to be. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, the general's gone, end battle. We lost 10 men on that. And they go. And I'm just going to enslave. Mm, I think what we're going to do next turn is winter, so we're going to pull this army back. Because I don't really want to be caught out here. Um, so Flevum is 17-2 and it's got a small navy tucked in there. I think that's probably the navy that was down here. And of course we've got this trash to deal with. So no my confederation is still around. It looks like they've got another army over here. Which means they're going to be out over here somewhere. So that's not a problem. Ready for so battle. Pull you out of Akum. You have further orders. And I think we're just going to put food in here. Because what I want is this to be pretty. Uh, how can you say? I want this to be self-sustaining it doesn't have to make a lot of money because it is going to be a defensive front line we've got this trash to deal with to see come on London is coming along quite nicely Ready for you can hit you can hit and you're the artillery army Commander. this is going to be a big be a big My battle spirits. let me just move you around, around to about here on the road again. can you 
do something to this army. You've only got a 5% chance and you can't do anything anyway. Okay, can you actually sabotage the settlement? Reconnoiter. I'm not exactly sure what that will do. You fail to sabotage anything in the enemy settlement. <laughs> oh. Okay, I th what we got here. Rate is okay. If we take out this army, this rebel army, this army could then defend both these settlements by moving back to roughly about here because one of the interesting things with these two settlements is if you actually see the zone of control if we can get the clouds out of the way this bridge marks a shared if I move if I take out these rebels and then put this army roughly next to this bridge what should happen is should any of these two settlements get attacked by rebels or anything like that although they're actually building up a I mean you're nearly up to full strength I think Kamalandum is oh you're nearly up to full strength as well you can defend against a rebel attack so I, I need to take these out and then we're going to attack up here how, how big is the garrison so it'd be 20 40 what are these guys 7 7 they don't we've got britannic tribes but i don't think they're going to be particularly that much of a problem britannic warriors could be interesting although they've got low base morale Painted swordsman. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of troops here. And we got a mercenary spear band. And I think the biggest threat's probably going to be the slingers here. Some mountain skirmishers. But they are, they're going to be uh, javelins. So we've got four sets of slingers in that, this army. This army got couple of those sworn and Celtic heavy cavalry but they'll be inside the settlement so they won't be that big a problem and then the garrison is three Celtic cavalry which again is going to be useless from the AI's perspective inside the settlement six Celtic warriors some Celtic tribesmen and five more Celtic bowmen so this our troops are going to be the issue in this battle and I've just noticed the time. I think this is going to have to wait to the next video because, of course, I need to take these out first so this army can provide cover. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.